and welcome back to the Citizen Channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. Yeah, and a quick look back. Uh, we're going to look at the, uh, yeah, the good bits, the bad bits. Uh, what happened last night over at the new Camp, of course. Uh, Barcelona versus City in this charity game. Very, very good cause, of course. Uh, on the 24th of August, 2022, a lot of, a lot of discussion concertion about is that a word i don't know a lot of uh talk about whether we should have done it where we shouldn't have done it at the end of the day yes we should have done it for the cause uh what will happen going forward we'll have to see won't we uh but uh some sun on the backs anyway when it's been a bit mixed here in manchester so uh yeah they wouldn't have always had the sun uh to enjoy but uh yeah let, let's look for positives and that's all we can do at the moment but there will be some negatives in this unfortunately so it was an 8 30 kick kickoff at the new camp 24th of August 2022. Please, if you enjoy or you've not subscribed already, please do so. Spread the word, guys, if you can. It'd be much appreciated. I try and inform and entertain as well if I can at times with all my different types of vlogs. And I, I call it a magazine vlog because obviously, uh, back, back if you don't know, back in the late 80s, I did have an attempt in Manchester City magazine. Uh, I did have talks with Manchester City at the time. It never happened. So if you look at this Citizen logo, that's the original logo I used for the magazine as well. So that's why I stick with that. But uh, yeah, so this is like a same sort of thing, but as vlogs, magazine vlogs. So we hope you enjoy it anyway. So please press that subscribe button, press the bell, no, bell notifications. Thumbs up, guys. Be great. Right, let's get on with it. Right, yeah. Interesting game. Uh, yeah, I think Barca started certainly the better. I think they had a, perhaps a stronger team out on pitch. City were playing a lot of young lads, of course. We'll talk about them individually in a moment. Uh, fringe players, if you like, who may become uh, players on the pitch, the way it's going, the way we're picking up injuries. And I think Barca, uh, yeah, I mean, we're a bit against the runner play to go 1-0 up. Uh, five of the six goals, let's face it, were a bit rubbishy and uh, caused by ourselves. There's only one really good goal. That was by Palmer, of course. But, uh, yeah, we grew into it and we improved. I think by our time, I think the 1-1 one -one scoreline was fair enough. And then we sort of took total command for the second half. Um, but uh, Barca seemed to just sort of very quickly nick a couple. And that's obviously our Achilles heel, even at this level, isn't it? But... Uh, it was reasonably competitive, uh, certainly from a City point of view, because they had a lot of young lads trying to impress and a lot of, as I say, fringe players trying to impress as well. Uh, obviously, when you see the, the three, when you see the penalty, that was a big talking point, wasn't it? Yeah, I did, it did catch him slightly. I mean, I was very surprised there, but I mean, he's a big lad, momentum, perhaps it took him down. I'm sure he didn't dive. I'm sure it was just, just, uh, just the fact he had his knee clipped. A lot of people are saying it was a, was a dive, but hey, uh, Obviously, those cheers from the Barca fans probably obviously turned to jeers, didn't they, <laughs> by the end after seeing that. The bad point, so, of course, are the couple of injuries. Let's hope M. Betty uh, gets well very, very soon. That looked very nasty indeed. Uh, a long time down, got up and got back down again. Obviously, very dizzy, unfortunate. So, we all send him our best wishes, of course. And Betty, possibly never really going to get in this team, team anyway. Uh, as the season progressed, he might have got an odd Carabao Cup game. Uh, the thing is, with centre halves, um, obviously we do have, uh, as in most positions, players who are prone to injury. So you never know; he could have been a key player. So people say it doesn't matter; he's just a squad player. But when you've got a thin squad, it does matter. I think more importantly, Phillips. Phillips is saying he's not going to start anyway. Well, what's Rodri going to do? Is he going to play sixty games this season? Uh, are we going to start playing Gundo in that thing? You know, we're going to start cobbling things together. I mean, we need Phillips injured. This is a bad sign early doors. He's picking up these niggly injuries. And the trouble is with such a thin squad going forward, it's 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 a it's a bit of a blow if Phillips is injured again. Perhaps it's something temporary, but I mean there's there's a pattern emerging here, isn't there, guys? And it's all right having a thin squad and Pep having a small squad, but probably at least six or seven of that squad do tend to pick up niggly injuries. So I, I think to push for four trophies this season, a fight on four fronts, it will be a momentous task. And I do worry a little bit. So that's a negative. I'm going to get a negative out of the way because it was a pos positive night for a lot of players. And that was a negative. I do worry a little bit. It's early days, of course it is. But it is just a, a little bit of a worry going forward. As I say, especially if we're going to go hard for four, four titles, it's going to be very, very extremely difficult this season. And a lot of teams have improved in the Premier League, as we've seen. And there's a lot of teams improved in Europe as well. Anyway, 
three three. I thought it was a fair result, guys. Let me know what you think overall on that one. All right, the match stats themselves before we have a look at a bit deeper on the player watch and see how they see how they did. Uh, Eleven shots uh, for Barca, seven on target. Sixteen for City, eight on target. So there you go. We were the better team, no doubt about it. Forty eight percent possession for Barca, fifty two for us. Five hundred passes for Barca, five hundred thirty two for us. Eighty nine percent completion rate for Barca, ninety percent for us. Foul seven by them and 13 by us. Yeah, I think that was because of the younger players a bit keener perhaps uh, to get involved. But overall, if anyone says City didn't deserve at least a draw, they're talking absolute crap. So uh, we'll go on from there. Right, let's have a look at the players. Let's look at the City 11 first of all. I got eight of these. I was quite happy with that. I'll, I'll go with eight. That's five for this sort of game. Um, there's a couple of players I didn't expect. There's a couple of players I did expect. You know, it just swings and roundabouts. So I think that was pretty good, uh, eight. Uh, starting lineup: Ortega or Ortega, yeah, Ortega, Mourinho. I've just got him Ortega. Luis Walker, Diaz, Gomez, Phillips, Bernardo, Palmer, Mares, Alvarez, and Foden. Yeah, okay with that. Subs: Edison, Carson. I thought Carson might have gone for ten minutes. <laughs> I don't know, a bit cruel of Pep. Stones, Cancelo, Gundogan, Haaland, Rodri, De Bruyne, Bob, and Betty. Knight and Wilson Esbrand. Yeah, we'll talk about the guys who didn't manage to get on right at the end. A uh, bit of a shame, but hey, that's how it is. So I'm not I'm not rating the players, guys. Just just a on a one watch through. I'm not I'm not going to go back and watch this again. It was I just just one watch through last night. A lot of people had problems with City Plus, didn't they? Unfortunately, I was okay last night, but it is you know City need to get something sorted that's this recast might be all right but obviously i don't know how expensive that is so uh, a bit disappointing for some fans who didn't get to watch it which is a shame right let's go to ortega i think ortega played last night how i think he does play i've not seen yet uh when edison came i went back and watched a couple of his games for benfica a, a, a cup final and a couple of league games just to see what sort of player we were getting i've not done it with ortega because i don't consider him a big threat to Edison. I don't consider him a number one keeper. So I've not gone and done that. But I have seen snippets where he's very capable of making these great saves. And he did again last night. Absolutely brilliant. But but the big but is very capable of letting a silly goal in. All right, people might say that about Edison. But, you know, that's a little bit unfair, I think. And of course he is. But Ortega made some two or three really... Well, one ex exceptional save when he made himself big in the second half. But, yeah, two or three really good saves. But he's always capable of dropping one. And he's a confident lad, so I like it. As a number two, uh, nothing wrong with Ortega. I like him. I thought he played OK last night. No problems whatsoever. I wouldn't have minded Carson getting 20 minutes or something, which would have, I think would have been fair. But all credit to Ortega. It's, it's not an easy job being an understudy, and it's not an easy job wanting to try and come in and make an impression. And he did that. A little unfortunate with the goal as I said it's a bit of an error from him uh, we're not going to dwell on it it is what it is and some great saves so yeah Ortega is exactly as at this point in time as I expected uh, and so no no better no worse Lewis yeah Rico Lewis he, uh, never I, I thought he tried very hard don't get me wrong I think some of those 14 fouls were probably Rico Lewis of course he's, he's going to work his socks off and that tendency to work too hard to make an impression sometimes takes it away you need to be a little bit more relaxed but you, can, you can't do that in that sort of game can you who can blame Rico Lewis he got stuck in and he did everything expected of him but he's another player I'll be very surprised if he doesn't make a, a couple of minor cup appearances and come on as sub when games are won stuff like that as I said all these all these could end up playing in the first team the way things are going if, if we keep getting injuries but at this point in time that's all Rico Lewis is and Good luck to the lad, and he did okay. Walker, yeah, as comfortable as you'd expect, playing like a centre half. A captain's role as well, which I think gives him a bit more stature in a game. I mean, so, sort of, to, for me, he was, again, not just as captain, but I think in, in playing, he was certainly a senior of Diaz. I think Diaz is secondary to him. I think Diaz is, for some reason, taking the sec. He's doing it with him when he plays with Aki. When he plays with Aki, he seems to be the second, you know, uh, sort of not the step down, but he seems to be able to be the, be the subordinate for me when he should perhaps be the leader. But hey, that's how it is. Normal from Walker. And Diaz, as I said, played within himself. Nothing silly. It was okay. Absolutely no, no, no risk taken uh, and played fine. Gomez, yeah, happy enough with Gomez. A lot of people very happy with Gomez. Um, I think he'll be suited to Pep Ball. I think he's already learned a lot about inverted defending and all this sort of thing. So I think Pep will be very happy with him. And I'll be honest with you, the new guys tonight who we've not seen 
really that much. Uh, I don't include uh, Palmer in that. Um, the new, other new guys, I think he was our be best bet uh, tonight, and I think I think he slotted in very very well. Now Gomez is of course expected to play that uh, defensive role for the first team squad, and I didn't see anything against that last night in this in this friendly game, this charity game. Phillips, well, I think Phillips struggled. I think Phillips did struggle. Again, another guy perhaps trying a little bit too hard. His game time is very short at the moment. He's well expected to play plenty of games this season. Uh, but he did struggle at times uh, and he was desperate to impress. And I think that affected the play even in, the, in this uh, charity game. And it was, he was gutted like we all were when he got his injury. And let's hope these little niggly injuries are sorted out. And it means resting him for three, four weeks, getting him 100% and starting from scratch, then we must do that because I think Phillips is integral to us this season. There's back up to Rodri as well in some of the, let's say, the less, less big, massive games. So Rodri, fortunately, fingers crossed, he's reasonably a fit lad, but Phillips, let's get get well soon, mate. A bit, a bit, tried a bit hard last night. Bernardo, yeah, interesting one last night. No lack of effort, but a lot of his magic seemed to be missing. He seemed to lose the ball a few times. Uh, probably not. I'm not saying that because he was playing better opposition. Just didn't quite work. It's probably things are still on his mind. I mean, Pep's making hints. It's not all over. In, uh, I've seen and I've not read the article, but I've seen this morning. So, yeah, not his greatest, but no lack of effort, of course, from Bernardo. We don't need to speak. We, we know Bernardo, don't we? So, let's, let's, uh, let's go on to Palmer. I mean, I'm sure we'll talk about Bernardo before the transfer window shuts. Palmer, just a typical Palmer performance. He's one of these players that I think if Pep played him, uh, he's a tendency to risk things as a young lad. Uh, it would put a bit of pressure on us because we would lose the ball in key areas and, and might be punished for it, but... It is what it is. Some things come off, some things don't come off. And again, we didn't see anything different from Palmer than we've seen previously. And he, he, I wouldn't say he was on a level with most of the players on there. He was certainly up, was not, not far off, though. And again, Palmer's another one that, unless things get desperate, I don't expect to see that much of, unless it's dead rubbers of cup games or we're winning a game comfortably. I just don't think he's in Pep's mind to be... Uh, start that many games this season but he did what we expect and all credits and he stayed on the pitch so that's a good sign that Pep trusted him to stay on the pitch for all the match and it, I think he thoroughly enjoyed it uh, which is all that matters Mares, yeah I think he's taken off taken uh, Jesus's offside mantle hasn't he? I think he's caught offside at least three times might have been four um, first half he was awful it was a typical uh, Mares game where it's a friendly he's not that bothered um, for that first half. But then the second half, I thought he played very, very well. He came more alive as the game progressed, as Barca made a raft of changes. We both made changes. He did come into it a little bit more. And very surprised to see him popping up and taking that penalty. But a great penalty. It's a shame he didn't do that against West Ham. And then we wouldn't have been nervous for the Villa game. And then it wouldn't have ended gloriously. So, hey, all these, all these things balance out, don't they? So, yeah, Mares was, for me, again, I think I said it, I said it what I expected to Mortique. And I think. That was exactly the sort of display I expected from Mares. Nothing to learn from it. That's just how it is. Alvarez, yeah, well, what a goal. I mean, it was a, a goal that sort of came to him. He didn't expect it, but he's got to be in the spot. He was willing to, to risk going in, even though the goal, obviously the keeper was the favourite to win the ball. He did win the ball, but Alvarez didn't give up. And that's all, all, all striker instinct, which is what we want to see. And he did have three or four really good chances, especially in the second half. And, was denied by the Barcelona keeper. So again, a very good game for Alvarez. Nothing wrong. Again, again, perhaps needs a lot more, a lot to show, a lot more, and do a lot more. But hey, he was he was keen. He was he was up for it. Nothing wrong with Alvarez last night. Foden again, happy enough on the left. Some nice balls, some nice moves. He wasn't didn't have a chance to be too greedy. He was getting the balls in and across that box when he could. And Foden, we know what we've got with Foden, so we don't need to go on too much about it, do we? Right, the subs, let's have a quick look at the subs before we finish. Uh, 46 minutes, Cancelo for Lewis. Yeah, great work for the second. Again, Cancelo's Cancelo. We, we can't really say, did we improve for Cancelo over Lewis? Possibly, although we did leave, you know, score, uh, let in a couple of goals, but we know defensively our uh, problems, don't we? But yeah, five with Cancelo. Stones for Walker. I think Stones just looked a little bit rusty again. He looked rusty at weekend against uh, Newcastle and he certainly looked uh, rusty for this one as well so he just needs uh, game time he needs him to be in a partnership that's a steady partnership whether it's Stones and Diaz okay Laporte's probably still a few weeks away so 
or if it's uh, Aki, I don't care. Uh, but Stones needs to be in a partnership and and playing regular. Uh, did, did look a little bit rusty. Wilson Esbrand for Gomez. Yeah, as I said, Gomez played well, and I like I like es- Wilson Esbrand. He's more a diff- he's more what we expect. He had a great run, didn't he? I thought he was gonna gonna score here, but then obviously he sort of uh, run out of ideas when he got into the last third, into the Barcelona third. But uh, yeah, defensively, I think they're totally different, Gomez and Wilson Esbrand. I think I always think Wilson Esbrand's more a, an old fashioned defender, and that's not a bad thing for me. You know, I look. I, I hate I hate it with my left and right backs are shooting up the field and not defending, which is the pep way. But I don't like it. I like a good old fashioned uh, defender. And I thought Wilson Esbrand play, did did what he should do, and I'm, I've always been impressed with Esbrand. Um, I wouldn't be overly worried if he came into a few games. And I think Pep will try and play him as and when he can uh, within the constraints of, of the games and how important they are. Rodri for Phillips. Well, what can you say? I'm not even, not really going to comment. That was an obvious choice, wasn't it? But poor Rodri might have a, a long season ahead of him. Let's hope he, you know, fingers crossed, he stays fit. Sixty four minutes. KDB for Bernardo. Yeah, as I say, Bernardo not the greatest uh, game overall, but KDB did what KDB does, and then he got in. The, uh, what the hell he was doing back in our box to give away the was it their second goal or third? I've lost. We got now, guys. But what he was doing back, he never comes back there. What's going on? Um, you know, all right, just stay up the other end, mate. Just stay in the middle. Just stay up the other end. And he, he was as 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 useful as usual up there. But please, don't don't come back. Don't you just, just you know, it's I don't know what hell. I don't know what you were doing. So just just stay up the pitch, mate. But uh, KDB's KDB. And Betty for Diaz. Yeah, I mean, obviously, a little, not too much we could say until that nasty head collision. Apart from, yeah. He, all the best, mate, and let's let's hope he gets. He's he's not too serious. He's fine, and he'll be back with us very very soon. Uh, Gundogan for Foden, yeah, plenty of energy. I thought Gundogan was very lively. I think he enjoyed himself for the time he was on. Uh, no nothing lost from Gundogan replacing Foden. Harlan for Alvarez, yeah. Apart from the penalty thing, which he's getting a bit of stick for, I don't think so. I mean, he was his main his main contribution was heading out defensively, wasn't it at the back. Um, and as I say, the pen, yes, he did get caught. He's a big gangling lad, so perhaps that, that was in, in the same way Sterling used to go down when he was at full pelt, when he had a little touch. Uh, uh, and I've, I'm not, I don't think Harlan's a diver. Uh, he has a smile on his face. Perhaps he did it for a bit of fun and didn't expect the penalty. I just don't know. I just don't know. But uh, hopefully Harlan won't be getting booed by grounds all over England now because of that. But uh, well, nothing surprises me. But uh, yeah, those cheers, as I said, from the Barca fans warming up might have, might have turned to cheers by the end. And 97 minutes, uh, yeah, Oscar Bob for Mbetti. Yeah, I'm not even sure he got a touch, but uh, yeah, good. At least he got into the new camp. And not used, a bit depressing. All right, Edison's not bothered. But Carson and Knight, why why didn't Carson and Knight come on? I'm a bit, a bit confused as to Pep, why Pep takes Ben Knight over there and doesn't use Ben Knight, isn't it? Could be, if I'm wrong, please forgive me. And uh, Carson, not use him. As I say, Edison, I'm not too worried. And man of the match, guys, for what it's worth, for what it is. I was almost going to give it Gomez, but he was only on for half a game, really, wasn't he? So, But he did seem OK fitting into that role, and no one was outstanding. But has, I'm going to give it Palmer. I'm going to give it Palmer on the basis that he stayed on the, the whole whole 90 minutes, 97 minutes, 102 minutes, whatever it was, uh, I've lost track. Uh, so I'm going to give it Palmer, man of the match. Let me know what you think, guys. Let me know any, any comments. As I say, I've tried to be as... As honest as I can, and it's all opinions, isn't it? Let me know what you think, guys. As I say, I do worry a little bit, squad depth, and I think JSGC has been commenting it, and I fully agree with him. I do, especially for a team hoping to go far in four four competitions, when a lot of the, with the World Cup, don't forget these competitions are sort of uh, narrowed down as well, so you know, you're having to play games very quickly, so it's, it's, it's going to be a tough ask. I mean, I, I'd just be happy with a Premier League title this season. That if you ask me now at this point in time, a bonus one of the cups. Which one? Which of the three? Any? I'm not bothered. But there you go. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Yeah, and of course, out soon will be the out. Out already is the odd show for the odd show for the coming upcoming Crystal Palace game. The preview show will be out on Friday after Pep's um, Pep's press conference. I watch that and then put that together. So that'll be out on Friday. And lots of other stuff, and of course. The final Citizen Live for a couple of weeks. Don't panic, guys. Citizen Live Monday night. I'm, I'm going away on my haul. So there will be City stuff, but uh, perhaps not as 
uh, not as much as there is now. I can't I can't spend the whole holiday doing two or three vlogs a day, which is what I tend to be doing at the moment. But uh, there'll be plenty of stuff still coming out. Of course, the continuing look at the Benjamin Mendy trial as well isn't nice, but uh, I think is, is useful as City fans, especially now City getting a little bit of headline in the in the court case as well. Uh, it's, it's interesting to listen to. Thanks, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Till we meet again. Oh, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now.